Hello, hello. Welcome to my lesson. Uh, today we are going to learn about uh, indigenous food crops in agriculture. The traditional, uh, the indigenous food crops are uh, the traditional food that uh, that we eat. In in this lesson, we will look at the various types of uh, indigenous food crops. We have three three types of uh, indigenous food crops. Here we have uh, vegetable crops. Then uh, we have uh, the cereal. We have the vegetable crops. Then we have uh, cereal. Then we have the uh, the root crops. Uh, the indigenous uh, indigenous food crops are uh, traditional food uh, found within our community. They are the cons consumption uh, to give the nutrients. That's why the people are eating the indigenous food crops. Some indigenous food crops are used as a medicine. They are very, very. These are very important uh, food crops that uh, we are talking about. Remember. Indigenous food crops grow naturally. You can get them anywhere. You can get them from the shade. You can get them uh, anywhere as you pass along the way, along the fence. You can uh, get them. Indigenous food crops can be grown in the most part of Kenya. Anywhere you can find, find them. Some of these indigenous food crops has been adopted by the human being, maybe, we used to say these are the these are weeds, but uh, they are traditional food. Eh? They are very uh, very important in terms of uh, the boat building and, and so on. These plants are grown and used by the community uh, of the area where where they are. Some of, some of these plants are handled. You should handle them with the care. For example, some of the they have thorns and so on, stinging uh, like stinging metals. When you want to handle them, use uh, make sure you wear the, the gloves. Here you see it can cause uh, the itching sensation uh, on the skin. So handle them with the care. So these crops can be uh, can be grown using uh, organic manure. Hence, no need of for uh, buying a expensive expensive fertilizer. Uh, use the natural uh, can make uh, the natural uh, natural manure, normal one for the cow dung and so on. These are grown naturally along the fence and uh, under the shed within, within our environment. So uh, it is very, uh, very important when we, we are learning the, the indigenous food crops. So as I have mentioned, we have three types. We have uh, vegetable, we have uh, cereal, then we have uh, the, the root crops. So they are very, uh, very, very uh, important. So as we continue to look at this, uh, uh, this indigenous food crops, uh, they, are provi they provide us with the nutrients uh, that give us uh, energy, protect our bodies uh, from disease, and build also our body. It makes us to be to be strong. When we eat the indigenous food crops, we be, we also become strong and healthy. So we are very we encourage people uh, to take the indigenous uh, food crops because they are very very important. They grow naturally along the fence, as I have said. They are also commonly found in our environment, as I have said. The, so indigenous food crops uh, are the food that. Uh, they really are the food that our grandparents they used to eat. They don't not that time they use only the natural salt. They don't uh, they use no any oil when they are cooking. So that's why they are they are very strong even if they are still uh, they are old. So it is very important and we encourage people uh, to continue using the these uh, indigenous food crops. As I have mentioned. Uh, indigenous food crops are the traditional food, the one we used to eat, our grandparents used to eat. So as you eat them, uh, they make you strong. They have also mineral and vitamin. They have uh, uh, various uh, various mineral and uh, and uh, and vitamin to our, to our 
our our body so let's look at the examples the examples of uh, the indigenous indigenous food crops so here we have examples uh, we have yam uh, we have arrow roots cassava sorghum sweet potatoes uh, black light shade spider weeds uh, cowpeas pumpkin uh, african nightshade and uh, jute jute malu those are some of the the examples that i have mentioned so i have said we have uh, in our in our examples we said we have uh, we have pigweed we have pigweed we have uh, pumpkin spider weeds black nightshade then you have millet, sorghum, uh, cassava, sweet potatoes, arrow roots, and, and others, and the ants. So these are the, the food crops that uh, I was, uh, I'm talking about that uh, people uh, should, should take. Here are grouped, uh, we group them into three. We, we have uh, vegetable, cereals, then we have uh, the, the root crop. Uh, these are some of the, the examples that I have mentioned. So we have three types. We have vegetables. Under vegetable, we have uh, pigweed, black nightshade, pumpkin, African uh, kale, spider weeds. Then under cereals we have uh, millet, sorghum, uh, finger millet. Under two tubers or roots crops we have yam, cassava, sweet potatoes, and uh, arrows. Those are some of the the examples uh, examples uh, that are, are grouped into into three. So. Now we want to look at the want to look at the the indigenous indigenous roots. We want to start with the indigenous uh, indigenous roots. Uh, is our number um, number three on our board. So we want to to look at them. Let's look at number one. We see indigenous uh, root crops are those whose the roots are eaten. So we eat the roots of those crops. So we have um, cassava, sweet potatoes, arrow roots, and yam. We eat the roots of this, uh, these crops. They are, they are very rich in, uh, in carbo carbohydrate. So it is very important and we encourage people to continue using the, the traditional food because they give us energy, they, they build our body, so it is very, very important. We should encourage our young ones to, instead of eating uh, the junk food, let parents use, uh, give them the food that will build their bodies, the food that will provide the energy, because also in these vegetables also we have the, we have the, the minerals they have also the, the the mineral as i have said we have the the cassava we have the sweet potatoes arrow roots yams and and so on let's look at uh, a few uh, examples here we have uh, now we have the roots these are the these are the the, the arrow roots the pictures of arrow roots the pictures of arrow roots then uh, we also have uh, we have the cassava now this is the pictures of cassava that's the cassava the that's the the cassava you can see the pictures of cassava then we have uh, we have also the sweet potatoes you can see the pictures and the plants of the the sweet uh, sweet potatoes. Then we have uh, we have the yams. That's how yams look like. 
Uh, now, we want to look at, uh, we have finished with the, with the roots, now we want to look at the, the, next, the next type. Our next type is uh, vegetable. Let's look at the vegetables. We want to look at the, the indigenous vegetables. Here are the vegetables that I'm talking about. We want to look at some of the, the examples of the vegetables. And vegetable have pigweeds, uh, we have uh, pumpkin, we have spiderweeds, black nightshade, nightshade, we have jitimalos and, and others. So these are examples of uh, indigenous. Indigenous vegetables are pigweeds, in Kiswahili we call them uh, terere. Then we have black nightshade which is managu, we have uh, spiderweeds which is saga, it depends. And then uh, Malenge, which is pumpkin, African kale, Kanzira, Jute Malos, uh, uh, Malay, uh, Murenda. It will depend on the community. I am not specifying the name uh, because I know each community, they have the way they call these vegetables, these uh, indigenous food crops. So I am not, uh, I'm not saying this is the final name. According to any community, they have different, they have different names. That's why I'm not insisting. I say this is the 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 last the last name. So depending on them in your language, how do you call them? So maybe you on your comment make sure right for me. You tell me what is the name of of the of of, of the plant. Now uh, as we continue, we have said we eat the leaves of these uh, vegetables. They are eaten either raw cooked or processed they provide us with a vitamin which help in protecting our body against the diseases that's that's the name they provide us with the vitamin which which help in protecting our body uh, against uh, against the, the against the diseases so they are very uh, very very uh, important so now let's look at uh, some of the examples examples here we have uh, now this is the the cowpeas kunde that's the cowpeas that's the pictures of cowpeas then we have uh, we have the pumpkin this is the pictures of pumpkin that's the malenge then we have our uh, spider weeds, which is saga then we have uh, black nightshade. Black nightshade is the managu. Then, then we have uh, African African kale, which is kansira. Then we have we have the jute malo. That's the murenda in the some languages. So I believe in your community. Also, you have the way the name of uh, the specific uh, the specific name. Now, now we want to look at the, the next the next type of uh, indigenous food crops. Uh, we want to look at uh, the cereals. We say the cereals that that's our number two, our number two on the on the board. That's there. You want to look at the the vegetables. Indigenous cereals, um, indigenous cereals. Are those whose the grains are eaten? So indigenous uh, cereals such as millet, uh, finger millet, and sorghum are rich in carbohydrate, which give us energy to work. They can grow well in the area where there is no enough rain, so they they are able to to, to sustain. They take enough water that will sustain will sustain them. So I have mentioned. I've said. We have uh, we have millet, sorghum, finger millet. So those are some of the indigenous. Uh, okay, we have the other crops that uh, we have not mentioned. We are based on the the indigenous uh, indigenous food crops. That's why I have uh, we want to uh, to based on indigenous the one that for tradition the one that our great grandparents our grandparents they used to eat. Uh, a long time ago, uh, before the other plants, before they get the other plants from from the the, the western country, western country. So let's look at uh, 
the examples the examples of uh, cereals here is the uh, millet the picture of millet then here we have uh, sorghum you can see sorghum a picture of sorghum then we have uh, finger millet finger millet now uh, those are uh, the pictures the finger millet we have the sorghum we have the millet we have uh, uh, the ones I have mentioned, I've mentioned millet, finger millet, and and uh, and sorghum. Now let's look at. We want to look at the the importance. Why are they important? Why do we say they are very important for our lives? We want to look at some of them. The importance. Why do we consider them as a as an important uh, important crops to our body, to our community? To our members, why are they important? Let's look at them, the importance. Number one, they are rich in nutrients that keep our body healthy. That's what I've said. They are rich in nutrients that keep our body healthy. Number two, vegetables are rich in vitamin and source of minerals such as zinc and iron. That's the black night nightshade and uh, we have black nightshade. Then we have the the spider weeds and so on. Okay. Then let's look at the we say vegetables are rich in vitamin and source of minerals such as zinc and iron that protects the body against the disease. Let's look at the roots, roots and cereals. The roots and cereals are also very rich in carbohydrates which provide the, the body energy to work. You want to work if you eat ugari, if you eat ugari, where well, you will work. You will dig the shamba, utasikia mzuri. Let's look at, we see the cereals uh, are form part of the step of, step, step of food uh, in, our, in our community. This food benefits us in a number of ways, like providing us with the carbohydrate, uh, mineral, vitamin that protect our body from, from diseases. So indigenous food crops are used uh, to consume, to give us the nutrients, to give us the energy, to make sure to work well and build our body. So vegetables are also, we've said, are rich of, of minerals and vitamin uh, help our body uh, in fighting uh, diseases. The, so as we continue uh, the, the importance, as we continue the importance, roots, roots crops are rich in carbohydrates and energy givers, uh, giving food, they provide provide us with the nutrients that uh, that give us the that give us the, the energy, protect our body uh, from the diseases and build our our bodies. When we also we have enough, we have already harvested. We have uh, prepared. We have what we can eat, what can sustain our our, our families. Then. We also have part for selling. When surplus are sold, they generate income. They are sold to earn money for other use. You can sell them also, you get the money. They are important in reducing the food shortage and hunger in the country. They provide the food security. So they bring us the enough food that will sustain the country for, for a, long, a long period. We eat indigenous food crops, uh, we become strong and healthy. So cereals are a source of carbohydrates and fiber. Carbohydrates are the, the key source of energy and fiber is important for, for digestion. So it is very important you avoid, uh, uh, if you, they will be able to digest the food well, you will not, you will not constipate. So, these are some of the, the other examples, the other types that we have not mentioned. You will find, you will find them. So, now, um, we, we have come to the end of our lesson. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe. Remember, uh, share, comment. We will appreciate. Thank you.